Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program with me, Psychobox, and our good buddy, Bob Kerbin. Uh, we are on our way toward the Mun to go get crap tons of science. Um, I thought of something that I think I want to explain while we're going into this. So I will revert flight to the beginning of the flight. Um, when the flight goes horribly wrong right at the launch. That is something that I feel is not cheating. Because um, sometimes you just screw up and, like, you forget to check your staging and stuff, right? So I don't mind doing that. I don't think it's cheating. But one thing I don't do, and I don't know if you've noticed, because I do kind of feel that is cheating, is I don't quick save all the time. Point in case is I reverted the flight when we took off and the whole thing exploded. But as we are now coming into the MUN, I, I'm not going to quick save and save state and like a save state farm or whatever it's called. We just, you know, load the save. If we're going to go to land on the moon and this goes to shit, we either start all the way over again or we scrap the project and come up with a whole different flight. Um, so the only thing that I will really do is revert flight to the beginning. I'm, I don't do the quick save thing. I think that's kind of, I mean, I, get, I don't know. I just, that's my way of playing on quote unquote hard mode. I know it's not really hard mode, but that's kind of, that's the way I do it. At least that's the way I'm going to do it in this series. So we're not going to do any uh, quick saves and quick load saves and stuff like that. So if I fuck this up, it's screwed. That's pretty much what I'm saying, people. <clears throat> All right. So speaking of which, let's not let's not screw this up. So we are going to land on the Mun. It doesn't really matter where to begin with because we haven't landed on the Mun at all anywhere. So I don't really know that it matters where we land to begin with. Um, and then we are going to go Mun. Boop. Um, and then we're going to go Mun biome hopping. But to begin with, we're just going to land somewhere. So we are out of gas on this stage. So ditch that puppy. And then continue to slow down. That thing's going to be perpetually going in orbit, isn't it? We got a lot of fuel in this thing. Kill it. So I'm thinking I kind of want to try and land maybe in one of these craters to start off with. I'm not quite sure where the biomes are. I could have looked it up on a fact. I know that like each crater is like its own biome. I know the pole is a biome. The highlands are a biome. And then there's a big like crevice somewhere. Like a canyon that goes like up like this between off of a crater. And I know that's its own biome too. Sure. I think I want to try and land in this crater to begin with. So let's go around to the other side. And try and do that. Um, not quite sure how we're going to do this. I think we'll just come in kind of like this. Oh, I think that's the crater thing. This is the, the canyon. All right, so we're going to aim for this crater. So we need to slow down a lot and maybe go a little south. Which way is south? Well, we're going to do this and we're going to try and go up and down and see which way it goes. Well, let's just figure out which way is south. I think that way is south. No? That's 180. I think that's south. So if we go this way... Yeah, 
Yeah. Just a little bit, just so we give us our, you know, a general, and then we'll just go retrograde and slow the shit down. Uh, so that's good. Stop. That'll get us over the site. Uh, maybe a little more south. I just want to not screw this up. No, just stop. Stop, 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 stop. Just actually go anti-normal. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That'll give me enough room to totally fuck it up and not die. All right, then let's get a little closer. Let's get, get in on it. All right, now we are definitely going to go into the side of the moon if we don't do this right. So... Um, down to, there is a mathematical way to where you can put a node here and it tells you how much it's, how long it's going to take to stop and then you can do the math and it will tell you exactly when you should start burning to where you do a perfectly done gravity assist term thing shit but I don't really know how to do that so uh, we're just going to eyeball it and try not to now, it'd be great if we could land closer on this side because um, then it'll be a smaller hop to get up there to land on our second spot. So... Yeah, I think this is going to... Work. Killing our, killing our vertical. I mean, horizontal speed. But we're still not quite anywhere there yet. We got a lot of speed to kill. We're going real quick. God, I hope we don't die. We're only doing half thrust though, so if all this fails, we can just, I guess, wail on the juice. Actually, let's really slow and slow down, because I'm getting, I'm getting a little scared that we're never gonna slow down. Three, fifty. All right. I don't think we're going to die. We need to get a little farther over to here. At least I'd like to... Before we arrest all of our vertical... I mean, horizontal movements. Hmm. I like how I say arrest. Like, that's the one scientific word I know. Two fifty. All right, let's get this down to two hundred. I don't know that we're going to be able to do too much of hopping. We don't have all that much fuel. Well, that's just the stage. The next stage, we still have the whole thing. That's true. We haven't even touched this. That's technically the next stage, so... All right, well, we do have some. All right, let's slow this down to 100. And let's really kill our, ver our horizontal. I know this sounds like a mess and I'm arguing with this thing, but I'm trying to push this, trying to push this to where we're going just straight down. All right. Um, that's close enough. I mean, let's just land and not die, shall we? 
Uh, landing gear. Yes. Nope. That's the wrong way. Turn our lights on. Turn our landing gear open. And then try not to die. I have no idea what the surface... No idea what the surface, um... Height is. Six, forty-five, forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, forty. We're coming in. I think the landing gear takes what ten? Deploy shielded? I don't know what that means. Alright, let's slow down. Alright, let's really slow down. Our lights are on, right? Where are our lights? There's our shadow. Okay, that's good indicator. There's our lights. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my god. I think this might be the most like majestic landing ever. Oh, it's looking so beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe I did it like this. This is so good. Ah! I have no button presses. It's like a baby's bottom. Mwah. Perfect! Oh my god, every once in a while I get lucky, right? And we're here! We're on the mun! Oh, we've landed safely. Here, let's do some science. That's what we're here for, right? Yes. Uh, log temperature data. Yep. Log pressure data. Yep. Uh, observe the mystery Googles. Yep. Uh, crew report. Yep. All right, Bob. It's your time to shine. I would like you to do an EVA report, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I would also like you to collect data, remove data, thank you very much. Uh, take data, store data, and I would like you to restore this. Perfect. Can you do it this? For no, you can't. Collect data, remove data, store experiments, yes. Can you reset it from here? No, you can't. Restore, yes. Module is operational again, great. Now I just need to get these two, which means, yep, you're gonna fall. That's okay though. Take data. We don't have to, uh, take data. We don't have to um, reset these two because this is the, where the beauty of a ladder helps. Uh, we don't have to reset them because um, they just, they're, they don't need to be reset. They can just do it over and over and over again. But, um, nope, oh, come on, Bob. Uh, we do need to collect them so that the, we have the science in our, oh, we need to do a, um, um, what's it called? Take a surface sample. Yes. And plant flag. Boop. And it shall say, uh, Bob was here. Mun landing site number one. Bob's on base. Ta-da! Alright, now let's get back in the boat and figure out if we have enough fuel to go somewhere else. Ooh, he's almost got enough to... 
to um, jump. He can almost jump all the way to the pod. Store experiments. Board. Yeah. We're doing it, people. We are doing it. All right, so then we need to go this way. We need to go that away. I don't know what way that away is. I think we might have enough fuel to do this. And if we don't, we'll just ditch and fly. Uh, we'll just ditch and fly home. I think 160 should be enough, though. We should be able to do a, a little bit of hopping. At least to this one. I think we're not going to get as much hopping done as I thought we would. Um, but we'll get to, I think. I think we'll get to. We'll see. If not, like I said, we'll just stage it, ditch, and fly. Fly back to Kerbin. But we need to go this way. So this way we go. Oh my god, that is not... That is not growing very quickly at all. How about we need to go up? Oh, this is eating a lot more fuel than I thought it would. Um... This way? Nope, wrong way. This way? Well, we can do this hop. I think we're going to be able to do this hop. Granted, it takes more than to land than it takes to take off, but... We should totally be able to do this. We should totally be able to do this. We do need to go a little more up than straight sideways. Um, so that we can go and then stop and then fall more. Instead of, you know, skidding across the ground. Okay. So then let's, you know, go this way. Where are we destined to land? We are destined to land in that there crater. That guy. Alright, so 162. Not bad like to go retrograde. You know, we're, we're destined to land in that guy, but maybe we'll land in that guy. That bugs me that this always goes back down every time you go from mode to mode. Every time you go into this mode, it disappears. <coughs> it's kind of weird. And annoying. All right, we're going in space center. No, indeed. We're gonna land in this crater. I hope that still counts. I hope that counts. Because if it doesn't, uh, we're fucked. I don't know that this landing is gonna be as beautiful as the last one. I make no guarantees. Where's our shadow? There it is. No idea what the height is. I honestly just think we can do it on this fuel tank, because if we have to stage in the middle of this, that's going to suck. All right, let's, let's get a little farther down here. I have no idea how close we are. I keep this, the whole uh, texture... Uh, whatever it's called. With all the texture repeat, I can never tell how close or far I am away. Alright, let's slow down too much. Definitely not as beautiful of a landing as it was last time. Last time was epic. 
you gotta get lucky every once in a while, right? Seven. Here we go. And. We're here. Whew. Okay, well, we've gotten two. That's. That's decent. We already got the uh, science from around. Uh, yes. Uh, log pressure data, yes. Log temperature, yes. Crew report. Moon's highlands. Yeah, all right. EVA. Uh, EVA report. Yep. Take surface sample. Yep. Store experiments. Collect data. Or require a scientist. Conveniently, I have a scientist. Store it. Restore it. Collect data. Move data. Store data. I'm, I'm really glad he can do this from the comfort of his little ladder. <clears throat> but then we still need to go down and get those guys. But that's okay, because with his with Bob's Epps expert... Uh, that didn't work at all. With Bob's ex, ah, I can't speak today. With Bob's expert Michael Jordan skills, he can leap up there. Yeah, there we go. Shit, overshot it. Nope, didn't land it perfectly. Okay, so oh, take data. That's what I meant. Thank you. Take data. All right, so if you face it this way, and I open your jetpack up, and I fly up and left, you should be right. Grab. Perfect. Store experiments. <clears throat> Board. Okay, so we've got 16 fuel left in this guy. And 237 fuel left. Now, I'm not quite sure how much fuel it takes to get home. But I do know... It takes a decent chunk. Because the moon's sphere of influence is a lot. But also... When we do this... Um... We're also going to be losing those four fuel tanks, which means our little weight's going to get a lot lighter. With that being said, I don't know how much lighter. The debate is, do we have enough fuel to do another hop? Here's a question. Where do we go for the next hop? Maybe here? Do these count? Do this count? I'm not quite sure where the next biome is. Maybe that guy? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Seeing as I don't know where the next biome is, and I don't know how much fuel it takes to get back from the moon, I think this is it for our journey to the moon. I think we're going to call it here, and I think we're just going to fly. What is up with the... Oh. It's the electric charge. I think we're just going to call it here, and... Um, Grab what we got and go. Really. So we need to go that way. Not north. We need to go 90 degrees. We need to go that way. So give it the gas and go. So we got the highlands and whatever that crater was. Decent. And now we're gonna go home. Up. We need to go up. Tell me that's in the general right direction. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Are you guys empty? Yes, you are. So let's ditch them. Bye. 
Nice knowing you, Chuckle Beans. It's got a lot more Delta V now. But we're not hauling that dead weight around. And we can also use this as an experiment to figure out exactly how much... Whoop, stop. Um, Delta V it takes to get home. Now, I guess... Here's a question. If we just burn... That doesn't really help us, does it? No. Do we have to go around again? Oh, we get into another moon encounter. Oh, that sucks. I think if we just burn straight, since we're going that way. Right, this should work. Then we'll just, since the whole thing of this is anti to the orbit of the way we're going. So as we're going this way, we're slowing down going that way. Right, as the theory. So if we just blast off straight, then we should... This is probably the most inefficient way of doing this. I'm probably doing this horrendously wrong. I don't know what to do. Do we go here and then... Yeah. Because this doesn't appear to be working. If we go... This way... It's a 10 second burn. Oh, see, I am right. Okay. Why, why is that moving? I have no idea why that's doing that, but... Fuck it. No, I want the maneuver, there we go. So technically, this should work, right? If we just go straight off the planet. Stop. Damn it. We go straight off the planet. Right, this should work. Yes! God, sometimes I'm smart. Stop. Okay, cool. We're going home. Yes! Bye, moon. Now, they pretty much just stay still as the moon leaves us. Perfect. Bye, moon. Well, the question is, how do I want to do this? How do we do this and not die? 200... Hmm. Let's go over here. Oop, a little too fast. Let's go over here, bring this guy down. A little, ooh, just a little bit. Is that how I met your mother reference? Um, let's go anti-retrograde is what I meant to say. I like to try and sound smart. That doesn't mean that I am smart. All right, let's bring this down. Let's just basically kill as much speed as we can. And then we'll fly out here and bring this guy within 60. When does the atmosphere start? God, that's a number that I should really remember. I think it's like between 50, I know it's between 50 and 75. That's a pretty big gap. So where between 50 and 75? Let's aim for 60. No, it's gotta be closer to 50, right? Let's aim for 50. It's the worst thing gonna happen. We're gonna all end up in a big fire explosion of death and die. 70, 60. Let's aim for 55. How about that? 55. Stop. 54. All right, fine. 
Yeah, let's do that. And I hope... I think this won't kill us. I think. Think is more of a... Uh, placeholder for the word... Placeholder for the word hope. Not only do I think this won't kill us, I hope it won't kill us. Alright, 400,000, 300,000... Two, one, nine, eight, seven, six. All right, we're in the we're in the we're in the goods here, kid. Three thousand. See now, these are red. Why do these go red? Do they? Does that mean they're auto primed or whatever that is? Or is that just saying, hey, don't push the button because if you do, they're gonna end up getting screwed. Maybe that's what that means. It's super creepy when the when the sound turns off. Alright, let's land this bitch. 55, 57, 56. Oh, that's the juice. We're still speeding up though. We are on fire, but we're still speeding up. Is this coming down? Yes, by a little bit. Not enough. Surface. Orbit, surface, orbit. I'm not quite sure what the difference is at this point. I mean, they're pretty similar. These are things that I probably should know. All right, um, I'm not quite sure what to do here. We're slowing down, but we're not slowing down that much. Maybe we just do this a couple times and keep slowing down. I'm not opposed to that. I mean, it seems safe, right? Or we ditch all this stuff. Just go balls to the walls. All right, well, we're going back up the fiery fireball of death is uh, subsided. So let's do it again, I guess. Um... Why can't I speed up? There it is. Alright, I gotta be over 120 by now. Come on. Whoopsies, here we go. Around, boop. Back down. We'll go until it slows us down, which it did. If we do it on this approach, we'll definitely land in the ocean, which um, that kind of looks like Africa. And that's Spain. And that's Hungary. Or, you know, the Middle East. Syria. Yeah, uh, no idea what the shit that part would be. This is like the freaking tropical rainforest with the ri rivers running through it and stuff. Look at that. It's interesting. If I cared enough, I'd probably go explore that. If it was real life and I wasn't doing this Let's Play, I might just go explore that if I had the technology. Once I had the technology. Alright, how are we doing? Oh, we're, we're on fire. That's how we're doing. Always a good sign. Alright, this is working, but it's not really working fast enough. So, let's, let's give it a little help. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I like that. Let's go home already, damn it. 48, 47, we got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel, guys. Don't worry, it's gonna be great, Bob. It's gonna be great. And we started going back up again. Let's just go the fuck home, shall we? Boop. Perfect. I love it. Goodbye, stage. It was nice knowing ya. Are we going? No, we're still going up. Wait, where's our? Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going down again. There it was. 
And there goes little, whatever his name is, Chuckle Beans. Bye. And we're just flying across the atmosphere ever gracefully like a swan on fire. You ever seen a swan on fire? It's a beautiful sight. Actually, no, it's not. It's a horrible, horrible image. A phoenix. There you go. That's a pretty I, That's a pretty picture, right? A phoenix, the bird of flyer, flying. <laughs> Whoops. Flying gracefully through the atmosphere of the things. Let me pick this up. Just knock this off my desk. All right, let's go home already. Why are you, this is taking so damn long? Come on, where's the fire? Where's the fiery embrace of death? There we go. Now we're on fire. Now we're cooking physically and metaphorically. Let's see how this is changing things. We're really not anywhere near the soupy bits. We're just going right across the top of the atmosphere, which I guess is the best way to do it. I'm not quite sure what the best way to do it is. I know that if you go, like, if you're straight out here and you just go straight in, you die. Um, I know if you go too shallow too quickly, that's not good, but I don't know if it's, you know, how too shallow, how shallow too shallow is. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm not quite sure what the optimal atmosphere density is to get into. I'm not quite sure. No idea. Oh, that's right. We brought monopropellant. And we didn't need any of that. Oh, there's the heat. Ooh, this always scares me. We are still, still going straight across more than down. I think we're gonna land in the ocean, kids. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> I like how this is all like silent and serene. Peaceful. You get an icon flowing over the picture of the globe. And then you cut to this, and it's like, Oh my god, we're gonna die! Shit! Bob seems calm, though. Good for Bob. Interior overlay. Oh, wow! That's cool! What are these things? Oh, hey, Bob. There's a little control pan. Oh, man, that seems pretty cramped. These are bottles of water, I guess. Where do you poo? Or do you, poo? I guess you don't. Oh, that sucks. Huh. 45V71D. Huh. Well, then there you go. There's the hatch. There's Bob's little control panel with the little nav ball thing. Oh, that's cool. Little buttons and switches. None of them are labeled. He's got his little thruster thing here and a little joystick there. Aw, he looks so ready. What, what is, oh, that's the parachute. All right, let's, um, how do you, how do you get rid of this? Let's pop the parachutes so we don't die. There we go. And into the ocean we go. Do, do, do. All right, let's hurry up and get there. Three, two, one. Oof. Oh, I got all the Gs. All right, hurry up and let's go home. All right, so we didn't get as much science as I hoped we would have gotten. I was hoping we were gonna do be able to do like three or four hops, but two is pretty good. Um, we got a lot of science. What we can do is then go to the Mun, do a little hopping around there. Um, what else can we do? Other than those two things, that's pretty much it um, for harvesting science, that is. After that, 
we pretty much need to go start setting up our... Um, well, we need to get a lot more science so that we can unlock the things for our gas station. And then we need to start building the gas station in space and getting it over there. And that's pretty much it. So science and then gas station. I think that's pretty much it. Well, we also need to do the satellite network thing. <clears throat> but I don't know at what point, at what part in the uh, series that's going to happen. I don't know what part we're going to need it, to be honest. 814 science. That's still damn good. Oh, that's good. Awesome. All right. 800 science. Cool. Awesome. Well, this... um. This episode went a little long, I apologize, but I wanted to get home and I didn't think it was going to take that long. So next episode, we'll um, we'll spend our science and we will head off back probably to Minmus. Um, but until then, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.